Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and we're continuing with the weekly astrology. So these are just mini astro readings. So today we're going to be doing Gemini. So we're looking at what Gemini needs to know right now. Um, don't forget the free reading um, is still on. Um, to win for the rest of August, you need to subscribe, like and comment over on my channel, Some Soul Magic Inspirations, my other channel. So if you haven't done, check it out. And you have the chance to win a free reading over there. So thank you so much for your support. And uh, don't forget to check out my other channel, as I say, Soul Magic Inspirations, my deck shop, and my Patreon page. If you want to win a, a free reading, there's other ways you can win. If you sign up to my Patreon before the 1st of September, you can win a reading that way. If you purchase decks on my shop to the value of $40, you can win a reading that way. If you'd like a personal reading, just check out my um, community page over on Soul Magic Inspirations for the prices at the moment on offer. Okay, so let's have a look at Gemini. Wow, and this fell out, so I've got to take that. Two of Cups, wow. So what a good start. And Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. Two of Swords, a lot of Twos here. Of twos. So let's clarify, why is the Two of Cups there? Why is the Two of Cups there? Why is the Two of Cups there? It's two of Cups there. Got Five of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. So we've got five, Two of Cups clarified by the Five of Pentacles. So you could have been in a connection and it didn't work out with the Five of Pentacles, which is that lack, that feeling left out in the cold. You know, to me it's like that single energy, okay? Um, so we go a bit deeper with that. And then we have the Two of Wands, which is a decision and Ten of Wands, clarifying that. Ten of Wands is feeling burdened. So maybe you had a job to make a decision because that's next to the Seven of Cups. So maybe you had choices in love and you were confused and you felt burdened and you didn't actually end up making the right decision because it's clarified by the Queen of Swords, which is your energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could have been air sign energy rather you could have been in that energy of being very maybe outspoken uh harsh speaking maybe we go a bit deeper with that having very strong boundaries and there's closed off energy here with the two of swords so not opening up your heart okay and clarified by the five of wands which is conflict so it looks like there was some sort of conflict between you and another person um, you, did, you didn't feel that, you know, you could make that decision. Maybe it was too tough, you know, that Ten of Wands. So what else can you tell us about the Two of Cups? We've got Seven of Wands. So, yeah, that's that defensive energy again. So one or both of you is very defensive, I feel, on this connection. And we've got Two of Wands. We've got the Star Energy. So healing was needed, okay? Healing was needed... Um, before, you know, wishes could be fulfilled. Why is the Seven of Cups there? Uh, we've got Three of Wands. So it's talking about divine timing for me. That's always about divine timing. Waiting for the right time. Waiting for your ships to come in. Because there's closed off energy here. And we've got Nine of Pentacles. So that's that single energy. So feeling good about being single. Um, grounded, independent, financially stable. But your heart may be closed off here. And we've got King of Swords energy. So we've got the King and Queen of Swords. So this could have been with a, a counterpart. Okay. Um, why is the King of Swords there? Six of Pentacles. So needing balance. That, that um, It feels like there could be balance coming in to this connection. So why is the Four of Pentacles there? So that was lack of balance, wasn't it? Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody walked away possibly you from this situation because there was a lack of give and take okay guarded behavior somebody wasn't opening up then again it could be mutual energy 
So why is the Ten of Wands there? Page of Swords. So you're going to get to the truth of this. Somebody's going to come forward with the truth, I feel. Why is the Queen of Swords there? We've got Four of Wands. So you're wanting that stability. You're wanting that um, to build something, a firm foundation. And you're wanting a commitment. And we've got conflict. And we've got the Tower energy here. So the tower's coming out a lot at the moment because we have got that Saturn full moon. So, you know, it's the teacher. Saturn is the teacher. Harsh lessons sometimes. But the tower doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's a sudden change, okay? And we've got King of Cups. So this is somebody coming towards you with love, okay? Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we've got the sun bringing you happiness and joy. Yeah, so this could be completely unexpected. This could be somebody. This could be somebody from the past that's in touch with their feelings, or this is somebody new. Okay, that's got that love to offer you. So it'd be different for everybody. And we've got the moon. So it's definitely divinely guided with that sun and moon. That's the masculine and feminine aspects. And time to celebrate. You're going to want to celebrate. Wow, wow, beautiful. Okay, let's just get some final. Life lessons messages. What else does Gemini need to know? What else does Gemini need to know? Gemini need to know right now. Gemini need to know. Got unexpected travel abroad or someone visits you from abroad. Communication improves. Precious moments, loving times, clarity, truth and understanding, listen to your intuition, follow your own instincts and a special someone arrives in your life, wow, so that's just confirming everything there, so beautiful messages, don't forget to win a free reading, subscribe to my other channel, Soul Magic Inspirations, like and comment the word soul and I will see you next time, bye for now.